what a beautiful song and what a great evening it is to be able to praise the Lord. Now, if you would please just push again, we say every week, push the like button and the share button. If you would, that'll be really good. And if you'd like to make a comment and tell us uh, who you are and where you're from, that'd be really, uh, that'd be special for us to know that uh, our ministry is reaching beyond just, say, the local area. So let us know who you are and where you're from, and uh, we'll be able to comment back to you. Sometimes we can do it while the service meeting is on, the sing-along is on. Other times we have to wait until afterwards, but we'll definitely get back to you. I'm John and Lorna McDonald and my sister Judy Gamble. So happy to be with you again this evening. And trust you'll take your songbooks out, and if you don't have a songbook, then just take out your hands and clap along with us, that'd be good. And if you can't clap, you can just sort of hum. Uh, any of those ways to just express our joy to the Lord. This is an old one again. It's an old gospel song. It's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Apparently this song is written on the basis and with the concept in mind that when Jesus changes your life, joy comes into your life and you just can't explain it. You can't even speak about it. It's so unspeakable. It's great. So that's the song. I have found his grace is all complete. Maybe we should have a tambourine. Do you, do you want a tambourine? You don't have I one don't yet? I think I do. Well, maybe somebody will donate one to, to you, and you can just tambourine right along oh, with that us. That would be wonderful. That would be extremely <laughs> exciting. <laughs>
true. You want to get work being done. try and shift songs down a bit in the key so that we can sing it and uh, that's just a little bit higher than we generally do so we'll try this key
song that is, just the closer walk with thee. Um, Lorna, you're at the phone there and at the iPad. Maybe you can tell us who's listening in this evening. Welcome, everyone, once again. Judy Lee Daddy. is watching. Judy Lee. Do you know Judy Lee? Not offhand. Okay. Judy, if you'll tell us where you're from, we'll look you up on Facebook. Um, Bev Dice. Hi, Bev. Christine Placido. Christine, hi. Christine. Um, Ross Anderson wants, oh, that will be glory for me. Oh, that will be. Judy, remember that one? Let's oh, that will one. be. Yes. Um, and jo Joanne Hooper. Joanne from Hamilton. Yeah. And just a minute, Ross. Yep. I love going back over people's Facebook pages after we've had one of these sing-alongs just to get to know you a bit better because then I look up at the things you're doing and how many of you are actively involved in your churches. That's, that's really good. Um, Harold Morden. Harold, and that's way down at Tilbury. If you're looking for a good church down Tilbury, that's Chatham, Windsor area, uh, look up the Harold's Church there. It's the Pentecostal Church. Is that near Leamington? It's down near Leamington, but yeah. it's on 401. Oh. Yeah, it's on 401. Um, Sharon Newman. Sharon? Hi, uh, Sharon. I think yeah. Sharon is, is here in uh, Whitby, I believe. Prudence Lutchman. I don't know if Prudence. I know her either. Well, I know her, but I can't right now think where. So maybe Prudence, you can tell us where you're from. Um, uh, and uh, Stephen Noble. Stephen Noble? I'm not sure where he lives. Do you know? No, I'm not positive. Um, nice to speak, see you again, Stephen. It's, man, it's been 20 years, I think. Maybe way back even at Tojo's days when you were only six or seven. Karen Mick. Karen? Karen Latimer. North. Her last Karen name Latimer. is now. She's up north still. Yeah. Karen Manship. Karen Manship. Is, it, no, Karen. is she yes. still in Woodstock? I'm not sure. I'm not positive. Yeah. Linda Camo. Linda. She's Hi, Linda, in Ingersoll. From Ingersoll. Yeah. Nice to have you. Um, and Glenna Impey. And Glenna, that's your sister over in Aurora. Mm -hmm. Here in Ontario, near Toronto. Um, there's two other people there that I can't see now, but that's good for now, I think. Yeah, we went out to the uh, we went out to the optometrist the other day and had our eyes tested again, both of us. And I I think we're due for having glasses. glasses one more time to help us see. Judy, you have a scripture there that prefaces our next song here, if you would please. Uh, Mark 6, 30 to 35. The apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. Mm. So they left by boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. But many people recognized them and saw them leaving. And people from many towns ran ahead along the shore and got there ahead of them. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Amen. Amen. Well, this scripture has to do with Jesus the shepherd, and this song simply says, When the world seems cold and your friends seem few, there is someone who cares for you. When you've tears in your eyes, your heart bleed inside. There is somebody who cares for you. So I think that's one of the signs of old age that, uh, that we've experienced. Is a lot of times, uh, as you get older, friends aren't in contact with you as much as they used to be. And that especially happens when one or the other partner dies, when your husband or your wife dies. Then uh, sometimes you're alone as a, as a single person in your old age. N never forget there's still someone who cares. And it might be important for you to reach out to people. I, I have found that as well. That rather than waiting for people to call me, maybe, maybe I have to go the extra mile and reach out to them. Because it's not sometimes that people don't want to. It's just that they don't think about it. 
And as you get older, our thinking, well, our thinker seems to fail. I don't know about everyone else. Now at 83, I'm experiencing where I don't remember everything like I used to. So it's not just that Jesus cares. It's that people who are full of Jesus, they're his disciples, they're his followers, they care as well. So reach out to some folk and uh, let them know you can.
didn't choose any more. That's it. What, you only have three? Well, yes. Oh, thought there was four, and I don't even know where my list went. Anyways, there we are. Um, I have to tie my list down in my book. Um, next time. That, that's really strange. Anyways, thank you, Lorna. It's been a long, long time since we've played together. But uh, I always love it when we do, and we used to do it in the church all the time, and the whole chorus of it. Uh, anyone else watching in there that we haven't acknowledged? Mark Soller, Kath, um, Kathy Dose, and Jeremy Chapman, Jeremy. and Samuel Mammon. <coughs> Samuel? Did you ever meet Samuel on? Samuel's in Edmonton. Yeah, I did. So I think yeah, I did. And he's married now, has a child up there. Amen. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. And uh, don't forget to push the like button. And if you think someone else would be blessed, maybe Samuel, if you push the share button and transfer it over to your mother and dad that are in India, pastoring there, maybe they would recognize some of these really old songs. Uh, I'm just going to play this one. We haven't quite got the uh, words uh, yet in our, well, we have it in our hymn book now that I've made up, but um, we, we haven't learned how to sing it yet. But it just simply says, this is an anthem. It says, Jesus is king, and I will extol him, give him the glory, and honor his name. He reigns on high, enthroned in the heavens, word of the Father, exalted for us. And the second verse says, we have a hope that is steadfast and certain. Man, I like that one. We have a hope that is steadfast and certain. As the end times come and the scriptures declare that it's going to happen this way, that the love of many will wax cold, that they, they're just going to be so fed up and frustrated and confused and deceived that many are going to give up. But the truth is, we have a hope. That's steadfast. <clears throat> when everything around us is falling apart, this will hold us in those difficult times. Steadfast and certain. Gone through the curtain and touching the throne. That's Jesus. He's gone through the curtain, entered into the Holy of Holies, touching the throne. We have a priest who is there interceding, pouring his grace on our lives day by day. Third verse is, we come to him, our priest and apostle, clothed in his glory and bearing his name, laying our lives with gladness before him, filled with his spirit, we worship the king. And the fourth verse is, O Holy One, our hearts do adore you. Thrilled with your goodness, we give you our praise. Angels in light, with worship around, surround him. Jesus, our Savior, forever the same. It's just simply Jesus is king. How I love that theme that Jesus is still in charge of everything. Amen.
So Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that today with all of our heart. There's nothing that you're not in control of. You're not only sovereign, you're Lord. You're in charge of everything. And even when we see kingdoms and uh, countries and governments, all kinds of things going strange, going a little crazy, not using common sense. When we see all of this, Lord, our hope is in the fact that you alone are totally in control and nothing is happening by surprise to you. Nothing, zero. You are aware of it all. And so, Lord, with that confidence, we rest ourselves in you. Our hope is in you, Lord, because you are the king and we will exalt you. And so we do pray, Lord, because we know that there are many things that flow into our lives as Christians because we acknowledge you as king. There's salvation. There's being reclaimed or reconciled to God. That when we sin and slip away from you, the Holy Spirit is there to draw us back. And you reconcile us once again with our Heavenly Father and the, the tie that was broken for a short while is reconciled again because when we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So not only that, Lord, you're our healer. And tonight we reach out to those, Lord, that many that have written us, texted us, even phoned. And some of them, Lord, are in need of a real healing this evening, and that unless you touch them, there is no hope. And so we do pray for the list, Lord, that we have here in our book. We, we do pray for Ray in the very hospital right now. And we pray for Paul Dean and for Sam and Barb and Bruce and Mary and for Edna and for Al out west and for Karen and her family and Ronnie and Tina and the loss in their homes. We pray for Isabel and so, so many others, Lord, that have talked to us and maybe we haven't written them down when we're reminded. But we pray, Lord, that for each and every one listening in tonight, that needs a healing, I pray in the name of Jesus, that powerful name of healing, I pray that healing will come into each and every life. May faith rise in their hearts, Lord, as faith rises in our heart to pray for them. On the other hand, may they sense faith coming into their heart and life and mind and changing and renewing their mind to believe that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or, or even think. So touch lives tonight, we pray. I pray also, Lord, for those that are disappointed and discouraged, many, Lord, that are defeated, many, Lord, that, uh, that they don't have a lot of friends around or encouragement, the support of family and friends is missing. I pray for them this evening, Lord. And right now, Father, I pray in Jesus' precious name, that they will be encouraged by some of the songs we've been singing. That's the purpose of our ministry and music, that people will once again reach back into the Word of God through the hymns that have been written and come down to us that are literally inspired by the hand of God, and that encouragement will come into their lives, Lord. Like everything may not get better, but things today are good because of an all-caring and a good and merciful and loving and powerful God. So bring encouragement to each and every one we pray in the midst of all of their difficulties and problems. May we continue to look in your direction because you are hope and our strength. In Jesus' precious, powerful, wonderful name we ask it. Amen. And amen. 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 Judy, do you remember the song? That no. Brother, no? Oh, Brother that Ross, no. glory for me.
us that are old, that song has real meaning. Because as you get older, you realize you're closer to the day when you're going to be stepping into glory. And uh, in spite of all the things that happen down here, the one thing that is sure that when you step into glory, it's going to be a glorious day. You're going to see the face of Jesus. You're going to see his, his hands that have been pierced for you. You're going to see where the crown of thorns was on his head. This is a wonderful time of the year to be celebrating Easter. So uh, let me just try that one one more time. It's, oh, that will be entire hymn book. It's, it's about this thick in a three ring binder. And if you'd like a copy of it, uh, I've, I've just completed it yesterday. It's taken many hours to go back through and reformat it and put the keys in that we use for singing. As you'll notice from our book, we don't have notes uh, for any of our songs, very few of them, the odd time. But it's because we've shifted them down into the rings that we can sing. So 
we can't always find those those keys that we need. But if you'd like a copy of our book, I was thinking, especially Bev, if you and Steve would like a book, you're doing a sing-along up in Collingwood. If you'd like one of the copies, I'll just put a PDF together and uh, email it to you. The same is true for our brother in um, London. He's doing gospel sings there every month. Uh, and uh, the Chris other day, and if you'd like to uh, have a copy, just email me. I'll send one off to you. Who else is? Christine. Christine, yes, up in Barry. She's doing some of these sing-alongs at the church there on St. Vincent Street. So if you'd like a copy, Christine, just email me. I'll send this along. You can print out. It's about 175 songs now that we've done over the last year and a half. And we just want to share whatever the Lord's blessed us with. We want to share it with others as well. Our last song we're going to do is um, Jesus Christ is made to me all I need, all I need. He alone is all my plea. He's all I need. And then Lorna's going to read the last uh, few folk that have come on. If you're coming on tomorrow morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whenever, because people uh, tend to find out about it during the week, please just hit the like button or share it with some others that others will have those words of encouragement as well.
Alan Adams, you two are so inspiration and so generous. The Lord bless you. Hessa Berylaine Carice is watching. Arthur Soller, did we mention him? Lynette Humphrey. And uh, one more person here. I've just lost them for a minute. Lutchman, yes. she's watching, and Howard Courtney. Hi, Howard. Thank you. Irene Slesser, Joylyn Simpson, Hess, Berylyn, Carice. King of Kings. Thursday evening. God bless.